All right, thanks for clicking on the video. This is Gullpain. Uh, just back with a quick review of this PSP game that I've been playing recently. And this is Wipeout Pure, uh, developed by Studio Liverpool, uh, published by Sony Computer Entertainment and released in uh, 2005 in Japan, North America and the EU. And uh, this is the sixth uh, Wipeout game. So I'm not that experienced with Wipeout games myself. And the first one I played, well, the one I played was on the, the PlayStation 1 uh, years and years ago. And uh, that was pretty good. That was one of the first kind of games I ever played, I think. Um, like, apart from, like, Mario and stuff like that. But, like, one of the first kind of, like, you know, modern kind of polygon games or however you describe, like, a, th a 3D futuristic game. Uh, like, this is a very futuristic game, this one. So this is, like, a, a racer. Um, and you basically, like, you pick your car and you, or your floating triangular ship and uh, you race it around like a load of different race courses and it's very like spectacular the um uh, the visuals on this and it's very very quick uh, one thing about wipeout i think is that um maybe it's because you're not like attached to the track like you're you're kind of floating and stuff uh, it just seems like it's like way faster than the um other racing games it might be my imagination or it might be just the way they i don't know the way the camera is or the frames per second, I don't know, but um, it just, it always seems like way faster than other, other racing games, it's probably because you're floating, and uh, it doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't seem kind of, well, it's obviously not realistic, like, uh, this game, well, unless it's like, um, what's that film with the hoverboards, where the guy goes back in time, I can't remember what it's called now, uh, Back to the, Back to the Future, yeah, that'll be sort of like the, the um the way the the vehicles would have to be the hoverboards but um yeah this one you can attack as well which is um which is novel because a lot of the um racing games that i've been playing at the moment uh need for speed and uh kind of outrun those ones you don't really like attack the other um the other uh race participants well, well apart from need for speed carbon on the streets where you do actually attack them but most of the time you're just sort of racing against them and um this one has like limited weapons shields uh different sort of like makes it a bit different so i don't know if you'd call it a combat racer but um it seems to me more like a traditional kind of like you know you're trying to come first uh, in a race um there's not as much modes um on this game as um as other racers i've played because i have played quite a lot of um racing games on the psp at the moment um or like recently and um, I have to say the Need for Speed games are the ones that kind of have the most modes or the most things to do for like a single player. I know a lot of people at the moment that like to play like, you know, the um, the games in multiplayer. So like the single player sort of stuff is kind of lost or it's kind of it's not really. Um, I don't know, like developed as much. Whereas you had to do the single player stuff for the uh, the PSP games. So like, you know, there had to be that. um that a uh, sing single player element to the games but there was online you know on psp as well although it wasn't i mean you can't do it now like the same with the vita games i mean some of the vita games you get and uh you know like they're basically like they're supposed to be played online and then now you can't play them online and then the single player modes are just not very good that's some of the vita games not, not all of them uh but i have to say that um wipeout pure it's okay it wouldn't be one of my favorite racing games it's like obviously it's not realistic because you know as i just went through about about the um the hoverboards where it's like looking at a hoverboard but um yeah when you when you crash into the side of a wall you don't like smash you don't do like an outrun um or a super hang on where you kind of you know you go on fire and then you just get placed back on the track uh wreck or um risen from the dead uh this one you just kind of hit off the side and then keep going you hardly lose speed at all in this um when you hit off things you know you have to like to come to a complete stop i don't even know if i ever came to a came to a complete stop uh on wipeout it's very um forward you know you keep moving forward all the time and um other other uh, racing games uh you can get caught on objects or you know the different things that um significantly slow you down where like you turn around and you're going the wrong direction but on wipeout it seems when i was playing it that you'd have you know to go the wrong direction you'd have to actually try and go the wrong direction um because you're just so kind of it's not on like it's not on rails around but it kind of seems like you're uh you're on rails and the background is kind of change into your um uh change into whatever way you push the joypad which probably it is actually but um yeah so wipeout uh pure wouldn't be one of my favorite um racing games on the psp it is still pretty good though i imagine that um since how there's like you know multiple of these games uh they must be um extremely popular i think the battle element 
um, is what's kind of uh, making it different than a lot of other racing games obviously the the setting as well the the aesthetics of the game the futuristic aesthetic is a you know kind of separating it from the normal genre because a lot of the racing games on psp they're very difficult to tell apart you know if you didn't really know your stuff you know like ridge racer need for speed they all kind of look similar they're 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 very um you know kind of normalized the way they look outrun looks a lot different than them you could you could tell the difference between like wipe out outrun than um need for speed or uh well it's probably because i've just played six need for speed games um and they're all you know like it's it's the same the same sort of style every time so they they look um similar so this one is kind of separating itself uh, from those so if you've played uh outrun or, or sorry if you've played a uh, wipe out pure or you're a fan of this sort of futuristic semi-battle sort of racing uh on the old psp let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time